Good Friday morning, everyone. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets and the Russell rebalancing today, Jim. A lot of, apparently, a lot of oil is added, and so that may put a, a, a real, there's a, there's a real tug of war here going on with oil. You know, the, oil, the Baker use count, which I think is going to show continued addition to, the, to drilling, negative for oil. You've got this Russell rebalancing, which is going to be good for oil. And then you have the production figures that just come out, which shows that there was not a great increase in U.S. production. U.S. production is determining where oil goes. But then you also got the futures reports, which show that many of the U.S. companies are hedged, which means they're going to keep pumping. All this is about a battleground. Carly Garner is your answer, okay? She is the one I have used at 53. She said, sell, sell, sell. She's calling for a messy bottom right here. That seems to be what's happening. Carly Garner, realmoney.com. Oh, the best. The if best. you don't look at her, I mean, anybody who does, she's worth the price of subscription. This is not hype. I've used her forever in oil. She's been right at every turn. It's incredible. So from oil to healthcare stocks, which are rallying on well, the Senate bill. Little poise here, little pause. Now, the, uh, people have to understand, the, the reason why the health, the hospital stocks went up is not because it's good for the hospitals. They went up because people feel this bill can't go through as this. You can't cut Medicaid and expect to get the 52 votes. I agree with that. I think anybody who votes for cutting Medicaid in any form is finished politically. Finished. And they know that. All right, what do you make of the financial stocks with the banks passing these stress it's tests? It's stupid. I mean, these are, I mean, they're yield curve plays. If you're buying them because they pass the stress test, you're really like, you're like, you're back in 2011. I want you to stay focused. CCAR could mean that Citicorp could, uh, could uh, return more capital. But they're buying back 7% of the company. Uh, if CCAR is next, CCAR's next week, and that's far more important than stress test. Stress, stress tests were much to do about nothing, and anybody who knew anything would have known that. And so is an actual Earth Plus name? Yes. All right, let's also talk about Bed Bath and Beyond. What a quarter. I want everyone to read the conference call because what they basically says is we can't compete with Amazon. That's the subtext. What happens is if they the more they the more they do online, it, it hurts their foot traffic. There's a the foot traffic is the key to the success of the company, but all the stores are profitable. So they're kind of in a, a real bind. Um, they the more they did they get better in online, the worse they do uh, in brick and mortar. Uh, and they have to give, you know, if they ship above, free purchase above 29, then they don't do as well in the gross margins because of the shipping. Under 29, then it goes to Amazon. This is an existential crisis. They bought back a huge amount of stock, much higher. It's done absolutely nothing uh, to help the stock. And if you read it, you realize why every retailer is down today, because people recognize that it could happen to them. And you asked Irene Rosenfeld about Amazon last night. She is uh, undeterred. Irene is uh, tough as nails. What I would tell you is, is that they've already dealt with Amazon. They also have a 30% of their ad budgets can be online. Uh, the big issue for, for Mondelez is to get U.S. sales back because uh, international is good, very good. Uh, emerging market is excellent. U.S. sales, she says, are going to be back in the second half, which is why I say buy Mondelez. Hmm. Buy Mondelez. Read my lips by Mondelez. Well, we loved your interview on Mad Money last Thank night. Uh, also, Starbucks given an overweight rating at KeyBank. Yeah, look, Starbucks has, fa Starbucks has fallen very quickly from 64 to 59. If they indeed are solving the problem of in-store mosh pit, that's Ron Shake's word, uh, uh, then I, I think that the stock is going to have increasing domestic comps, which means the stock goes back to 64. I agree with it. Action alert name sold some up there, but uh, would buy it back if it went to 57. All right, meanwhile, Caterpillar downgraded a Deutsche Bank. That's a savage downgrade, and here it is. Now, undercurrent of that is that they feel that uh, even the good news is discounted at uh, 105. It was 103 yesterday. Uh, I point out that the big negative on CAT is, is that they are linked to oil. There's a lot of uh, industrial applications involving oil that need earth movers, and so the downgrade makes sense to me. Uh, oil does need to be higher. All right, and then on Stop Trading on Swalk in the Street, you talked about U.S. Steel. Yeah, now U.S. Steel... Uh, AK Steel, upgraded by Deutsche Bank. This is all about the idea that the government is going to invoke 232. Uh, this is a clause which says that there's national security issues about why we need steel industry, not threatened by dumping. It would be broad, it would be sweeping, it would be the first time we fought back against the Chinese and the Koreans, particularly the Koreans, by the way. It would be terrific for US Steel, AK Steel, and best of all for Nucor, which is the low cost producer. Now, if you look at Nucor, which is big action alerts name, you'll see it pre announced bad numbers. That was actually, I think, in some ways, you didn't want the government, they had been just written up by the journalist making too much money. 
I mean, give me a break. I think that Nucor, having bottomed at 54 and come back to 56 and change, is a reflection that you were going to get this and you're going to get it soon and Nucor's going to go to 60. All right, and then on Meddash, you talked about Bitcoin, which is something you talk about on our well, trading strategy. Er, 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 you know, Eric Johnson, uh, uh, who is a must, 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 must read, uh, who did a fantastic piece explaining how AMD and NVIDIA are benefiting from cryptocurrency, particularly for Ether, for this secondary currency that's up 4,000%. I'm not recommending any of the Bitcoins, the Ether, but I am saying that people are, if you want to know why AMD and NVIDIA recently have been very strong, Read his piece, it has all the answers. Johnson, he's must read. Eric Johnson, thestreet.com. All right, Jim Kramer, that's it for today. Thank you Thank very much. You. All right, and for more information on the stocks you mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.